So there, were, there was a lot to unpack in that nine minutes that we just showed. Uh, so what we want to do right now is kind of just slow it down a little bit. Yep. Um, show you the kind of the core abilities, some of the upgrades. Um, but just caveating, we're doing this in a little bit of a hacky way, kind of giving you a peek behind the curtains. So Perry's going to spawn a couple enemies, uh, show off some of these abilities, and we'll just kind of uh, give you a, a peek of what, what they do. And then we'll run out to an outpost and kind of put it all together. Really? Yeah. Starting with yeah. weapons yeah. and what, abilities. So we can just do kind of the, the simple, we'll do the simple abilities first, just to sort of show them off just in this form. So I'll spawn this guy in, just get his attention. Yeah, and just to be clear, you can't usually spawn enemies in the game. No, you bring it a little bit. So the purpose is this. Some fun, so. so obviously we have stuff like the slam that will just, you know, completely obliterate him. It's like um, Fruit Punch just popped out of it. And as Tim mentioned, like the, <laughs> <laughs> the higher you are, the more damage you do. Yeah, so I'll go up here and do something like this, bring him a little higher, wake him up a little bit. Hey, I'm over here. Let's get a little higher, and the higher you go, like Carlos said, the more damage you do. So if there's more enemies, you want to go higher, that way you can get more of them. And then, um, let's see, I can show off uh, the one that's very fun to use that you can split them apart with, is Shatter. That'll also send them over the cliff. And then, uh, what else do we have we want to show? The, um, I guess we'll do Vortex. Yeah, Vortex yeah, is Vortex. cool, because that'll kind of bring him up like that. You can do all kinds of stuff with him there. You shoot him, it'll give him a little boost, and also send him <laughs> over the cliff. What is your deal with and this? And another ability that comes in handy <laughs> <It's addictive. laughs> is, is the dash as well. So let's say you have somebody shooting an RPG at you. You can get out of the way of it and just kind of watch it go by. Or, another good example of an ability is the barrier that'll protect you from a lot of stuff. Nice. And then you can hover over it like that and take them out that way. Yes, yeah, so you basically just... can double jump and hover in the yeah, air, right? Yeah, you just float right. it. Yeah, so if you double jump yeah. and then ADS, aim down your sight, then you hover. So that's another ability. So there's all kinds of stuff. So that's sort of them one by one, right? Um, so we want to see some, I guess, combos at this point? Yes, yeah. sir. So, going higher, obviously I can go up on things like this, but if you throw the vortex grenade down, then do a double jump, then get up, you go even higher. And do stuff like that. So if we want to spawn in a couple enemies, wake them up a bit, you can con Oh, hey, there's a vendor here. Good timing. <laughs> throw this down to stop, and then throw that, and then get over it, and take them out that way. Uh, and Vortex Shatter. Let me try that one out. Huh? Vortex Shatter. Vortex Shatter. That's a good one. Uh, wait for my Vortex to come back. There it is. So that's fun. And then uh, what are the other combos we like to show? All kinds of stuff. You can get into slide, slide dash, slide dash shatter. Yep. That's a good one. So I fully let's expect get in. all the people who are getting ready to play the game to be able yes. to do all of these <laughs> we when see it's this. your turn to hop yeah. in. And if I so don't we'll do see that, that, I'll be so disappointed. And then, I see on. you. I'm looking his right legs. at you. <laughs> that was only the lower half of his body. <laughs> the first, the top half just got disintegrated. <laughs> um, so there's all kinds of stuff you can do with, with combos and you get creative. Um, should we maybe show some of the weapons? Yeah. Or yeah. yeah. So we can go... One by one here, I guess, with this. So the AR is pretty self-explanatory. That's pretty versatile. It's fun to use. Um, then we have the shotgun, which, you know, we all, we're all familiar with shotguns. But when you ADS, well, just threw them off the cliff. But when you ADS, it kind of gives you this, um, this different alternate fire mode that's sort of like a, an air cannon that, that sends them off cliffs as well. I love throwing things off cliffs in this game. It's my favorite thing to do. Um, <laughs> this is funny, the vendor thinks you want to shop. This, yeah. This is cracking me up. <laughs> um, and then shop? we have rocket launcher, of course. Always fun to use. You can do some really great combos with that. Um, the uh, Vortex uh, rocket launcher? Yeah, well, actually, we'll, we'll do... Why don't we combine the Vortex with the grab dart launcher and the rocket launcher? So another good one to do is get somebody in here and then... You fill them up with these gravity pelts. Then you hit them with a vortex. Then you send them in the air. 
Oh. Oh. That split him up. I think uh, he hit something again. on the way. Do it again. Do it again. We're going to do it again because this gets really cool. So we'll skip the vortex this time. Just go straight to the gravity dart. Send him in the air. Why is he? He's blowing up immediately. I don't know what he's hitting. You're just too powerful. Hey, can you yeah, I don't know what's tree. going on. There we there go. There he goes. And yeah. if you get him high enough, you can track him. We're going to get one. Let me do another one. Let's send him straight up. This gun is too fun to use. There you go. Uh oh. Yes. <laughs> nice. Just extreme overkill, but that's kind right, of hey, what can, this game can, is all can about. Can you hit him with a wing stick? Can you hit him with a wing stick in the air? Yeah, yeah. we can do that. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll see how your wing stick skill is. So we'll bring in. Let's yeah, so do Tim, a shroud. Uh, for this all time. the Rage One fans, the wing stick is back. Do you want to talk about kind of the upgrades and? Yeah, so, uh, uh, you know, the wing stick is, is, is a uh, signature weapon from the original. And, um, you know, one of the things oh, he you can do... He's hitting the tree. That's he, what he's yeah, hitting the tree branch. Um, you know, we, uh, it has a full upgrade path, just like your, your weapons and your abilities. So we have, you know, lock-on, we have explodable, we have multiple targets. We have the grind, which is my favorite, which is stuck into somebody. In the... I missed. You Come back. Oh, no! All right. I missed. All right, the thir the third time's a charm. Um, and then the, the, my favorite is when it gets stuck in people, grinds them up, and then explodes. Which is horrifying, Which, Tim. <laughs> horrifying. Whose idea was that? Uh, I want to say it's Tim's. No, no, it I wasn't mine. I want to say it's Tim's because it's awful. It's so gory. I love it so, so much. Good I mean, job, this, Perry. This whole game is so... We were talking oh, yeah. about it yesterday. It's so brutal in the most wonderful way. Yes, we really, you know, wanted to... Um, you know, it's so over the top in some of the combat, yeah. that, and it's and, and it's kind of fun, but you know it's all in context. But it is it, it's it's an enjoyable orchestra of destruction. Yeah. Yes. I was uh, messing around with the game the other day, trying to grab gifts from it, and I was slowing down between screens, and there was one where a person's brain just kind of <laughs> pops out of their head. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> I just froze on that screen for a second. I was like, oh. That's a realistic looking brain. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so the wing We're stick also up. has a couple things you can do with it. Yep. Um, well, actually, you can hit those back to him as well. Yeah, someone just asked if you were actually like hitting the grenade back. So yes, you are. You can just hit him right back to him and yep. uh, and blow him up, just like a lot of other things. In the I game. think that's uh, an upgrade, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. And then also is some of the bandits can catch your grenades, or they'll catch a vortex grenade, which they're like. Oh, whoops, and then they pick off flying, which is pretty funny. That's awesome. Now I'm on a wing stick. Yeah, like that. See, he, he actually tried to bat away the, uh, the vortex grenade, but it stuck to his bat. <laughs> I mean, there is a lot of subtlety and a lot of AI yep. that most yeah, people we'll actually that. miss. Um, so, you know, I really encourage players to kind of focus on what the enemy is doing and, and you'll see that they really are reacting to what you're using, where you are, and how they're working together. It's very complex. It's more than just brains flying out. <laughs> so this is a Firestone, Firestorm uh, uh, pistol. I so you, you, you hit, uh, you, you hit in, uh, enemies with a, kind of a charge round and then you snap it to... Uh, Make them explode. And he then just turned into bones. a charred skeleton. Yep, just bones. <laughs> Again, Tim. That's fun. It is fun. <laughs> All in the name of fun. What's tough is the arc where the where this pistol is located is is guarded by the river hogs and that redneck mech. Oh, so to I get this weapon, mechs. you got to go through a yeah. fight, which is yeah, pretty cool. Most yeah. Most of the arcs, there's a fight that you're gonna have to basically you're gonna have to yeah. yeah clear out some bad guys first. You know, so one of the things that I always encourage players to do is don't rush through, like, the story. Uh, you know, spend some time, find the arcs, yeah. you know, talk to people in the towns, learn about the world, get some lore, and have fun. And the game is, I enjoy the game most when I'm just doing dynamic things in the world. That's really where it shines. Yeah. I mean, all of the arcs, to your point, they're all in very interesting places. They are all always an interesting fight. You, yeah. either, you either have cyber crushers guarding them, or the redneck mechs, or... I, I love exploring and finding the arcs. And, and it's kind of like a... 
you make it a job. They're not just dropped immediately on the map. You kind of like, okay, you're hunting down intel and you're, mm -hmm. you find a data pad that may have the location of an arc. And I think that that stuff is, makes it fun, the fight and the hunt. Yeah, so in Overdrive, you can see that just taking these enemies down is so much easier and more satisfying because I mean, you're so much more powerful floating in the air. So do we want to kind of put it all together and go uh, see it live in action? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so a lot of times the enemies will hide out at different outposts, and you basically can go there and clear them out. Um, so now that we've seen all of the weapons and abilities kind of put together, We'll take the Icarus and just go over to one of them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Hey, it's a very <laughs> dynamic open world. This world that is alive. That's <laughs> uh, what I get for playing in the street. <laughs> that is too funny. There are many things oh, that want to kill you. <laughs> so, Perry, one yeah. of my favorite ability upgrades has been... We haven't really been able to show it in trailers because without context, it can be tough to know exactly what you're seeing. But that's the the rush upgrade. Oh yeah. That lets you go invisible. Can uh, we see right. that one? Yeah, we can. I should have that one. So it's cool too because you can combo that one as well. So there's sprinting obviously, but then there's also sort of yeah. double speed, yeah, and then you go uh, sort of invisible. But you can also combine that as well. So when you see enemies end of a lane, and then you want to pop it after it recharges here. You can then hit them with the shatter, and then that's... Oh, there's more v I gotta stay out of the street! <laughs> You're playing in the street, man. Stop, yeah. Stop I gotta stay over here in the ground. I gotta stay in the yard. That, I should've learned that when I was a kid. Even the pros sometimes get crushed by cars. So where I just was I love going? that that upgrade. It's perfect for it's, getting it's in from combat. Course. It's perfect for getting out Man, of combat. What did you do? Did your mother teach you not to play in the street? <laughs> Let me get another one in and fly back to where we're going. This time, let's stay above the vehicles. And we'll I'm go down. Here it was funny. Bit. Go to, I guess the. Where were we going? We were going to that... Um, Drop Dead Canyon? Yeah, that's it. Drop yeah. Dead. And I think it's this way. It's where we were. So we'll go back that way. Out of the jungle, which is one of the coolest places to fight. A lot of really cool areas in there. So we've shown, um, obviously, a lot of stuff outdoors, but uh, someone wanted to know from Rage 1 there were some sewers. Can you actually go to sewers in this game as well? Yeah, yeah. One of the, er one of the early... Uh, yes, oh. sewers! Yes, sewers! No, stop. I think that's fun. I the, mean, uh, yeah, one of our uh, early missions that uh, Marshall has will actually send you down to some mutants in the sewers. Um, but no, they're fine. No, it's cool. It is. It is cool. Where else are you going to find all of the Abaddon <laughs> mutants? Yes. Yes. And there are so, so many of them in the sewers. They're terrifying. They're really scary. Yes. Because they move so fast. Yeah, and we have, um, um, we have unique kind of attacks. And they have some different AI that, that people had not seen from the original. Cool. Uh, so it really kind of adds to dynamic play. They uh, climb up. They jump off of walls at you. Yes. They drop from the ceiling. And of course, Super Mutant fun. Bash TV. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's back. Yes. That's back in a big way. Yeah. It has a new host, though, and she's very... odd. <laughs> she is an interesting she's uh, character. She's very odd. Yes, we, we had a lot of fun when we created these <laughs> characters. Part of me wants to say, you know what, I would like to be Desdemonia when I grow up. And then I see her drinking blood and I'm like, mm, less so. <laughs> less so. Maybe not for you. Maybe, maybe not quite. So Perry found uh, our outpost. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Made my way back there after playing in the street. Perry, no! <laughs> Just trying to pee, come on! So the faster that you uh, take down your enemies, you can see Perry's overdrive meter there, he's got 6x. 
the faster you take uh, your enemies down, especially when you're in overdrive, the faster your overdrive meter will charge, and it gets you into this fast loop cycle, um, which kind of kind of gets you into the action. Because this is a big world, as you can see, but everything we do with the weapons and the abilities gets you into the action, up close and personal. It's very uh, very id software style combat. I do love the grab dart launcher. It's just such a... It's very satisfying. As I mentioned earlier, I'm a big utility player, and there are so many uses for that. You can attach it to an explosive barrel and send that into a crowd of people. You can attach people to, you know, windmills like we saw in, in the Wasteland yeah. Superhero. Like, it's so true. there are so many weird things that you can do with that gun that just make this game so fun. So Perry's using the Pulse Cannon right now, and this thing just will tear through uh, your enemies, but you have to meter it for the heat. So you can see that bar right there, so there's kind of a sweet spot between overheating it and then getting the maximum uh, uh, damage out of it. Uh, so, so you have to kind of pay attention, you can't just tear through your enemies. And there's definitely bigger enemy types, like that guy right there. I Which mean, he's, he's just gone. bones now, though, so... <laughs> yeah, the Goon Squad is totally reckless. Look at that 10x max. <laughs> so Perry has maxed out his boost on the overdrive. That's how good he is. And of course, one of the arc chests, very important. And he'll probably get, like, uh, auto parts, which is cool. cool. Could use that to upgrade the Phoenix. Yeah. Yes. And one of the cool things about the interface is you can go to your garage anywhere in the world. So you don't have to drive back to town to upgrade your Phoenix. You can, you can find some parts here, you can, you can upgrade your Phoenix wherever you want. That's awesome. Nicely done. Good job. Thank Very you. Good nice job, theory. Perry. You know, and one of the things that you saw there at the very end, you saw Captain Marshall's profile. Mm -hmm. So different activities in, um, around the wasteland contribute to different characters' kind of progression. So, um, you know, while you're, when you're moving through the story, based on who you're working for and based on what you're doing, you'll kind of progress those stories and they'll, they'll feed you more information as you play through. So that was a uh, Captain Marshall area. Yep. Nice. Very cool. Nicely done. Yeah. Thanks.